Hi, I'm Elliot, and we're here bright and early at Changi Point at the Rocky Shore this time. And we're gonna try and find some cool animals for you guys. Before we start, make sure you have some nice covered shoes because these rocks can be pretty sharp. So just to, uh, protect yourself, just make sure you have adequate footwear. Always remember, we need to put things back the way we found it. So we're gonna gently put this rock down. So whatever rocks we flip over or like tilt up, we need to put them back exactly in the same position, make sure we don't hurt any animals. This is a thunder crab. Now, thunder crabs are typically found under rocks. And that's why it's found in the rocky shore. This is a very tiny one. Normally thunder crabs grow to about like this big, right? So thunder crabs have a very powerful grip. That's why they have these really huge front claws. And legend has it that if they pinch you or grab onto you, only the sound of thunder is going to make them let go. But actually, if you get pinched by a crab, all you have to do is put it back gently on the surface and they should let go. Don't try to shake it because you're going to hurt yourself and the crab and it's just going to make the crab tighten its grip. So on the side of this rock is a flatworm and marine flatworms are predators too. So they're really flat and the small, most of them are less than 1 cm long so they can get into any kind of space to find prey. And they eat pretty much like sea stars also, they evert their stomach. So basically their gut comes out of their mouth and then it covers the prey and they digest it. Alright, so this is a cowrie. Now cowries are a group of um, mollusks so they're related to your sea snails and um, slugs and sea hares and whatnot. But what makes them special is if you look at this shell, it's shiny. So most other seashells, they're not shiny. And the reason is, the cowrie actually polishes its shell very often. And how it does this is, as you can see at the sides of this shell here, they have this thing called their mantle, which is basically part of their body that comes out. And their mantle is so big that it can actually cover the whole shell. And they polish this to get rid of any hitchhikers that might um, latch on such as barnacles and the shells last time were used as currency because of how beautiful they were. So people, instead of using money or coins, will use curry shells. So we're going to call it a day here at the rocky shore. The tide's coming in. But wow, we really saw some really amazing creatures here today. And the rocky shore is such a unique habitat and we're so lucky to have them here in Singapore. Um, besides our natural rocky shores, we also have a lot of marine life on our man-made structures like seawalls and researchers have been consistently finding a variety of cool marine animals uh, on these seawalls. So we're really a city in nature here in Singapore and we just need to know where to find these animals. So there's so much more here for you to see. Um, please come down here and explore our tidal treasures. Thank you so much and see you next time.